After meddling around with the K39, it's time to move on to another one with similar sandwich layout. The MI6 from Case by Case Design. I ordered this case in October last year and received it in February. But now I finally have some time to start building in this case. Is it too late for the party?
So, the build is finally done. Everything went so smoothly, especially with the custom cables. Every cables except the SATA cable that I made were bought from Dream Big by Ray on Etsy. The reason that I made my own was because I don't know the length of the cable. Let's talk a bit about the CPU. I got an open boxed but unused 3700X and a Red Prism cooler on offer for only $200. Then I sold the 2700X for 180 bucks. Moving to a lower TDP CPU with higher clock speed for only extra $20, it's just a no-brainer. I have not done any testing yet, so stability is still questionable. But for the CPU, I overclocked it to 4.125 GHz with 1.20 volts. A single run of Cinebench R20, the 3700X picked at 95 degrees celsius. For CSGO, CPU temperature was maxed at 80 degrees and the RTX 2070 mini maxed at 64 degrees. In Witcher 3, the GPU temperature was maxing out at 70 degrees. I knew this case thanks to Tech Everything YouTube channel. At that time, there were some problems of the case that is pointed out and the creator quickly fixed them. In this revision, with a new top panel, the flexing when holding the case is mitigated. For the graphic card, plugging in a DisplayPort cable is no longer an issue. However, for me, there are some minor problems. My case's feet are not stable so a slight push can make it wiggle. On to performance. I don't know why the grader did not make the vent holes for the GPU side equal to the CPU side. Having less intake holes makes it trap more hot air generated by the graphic card. And that's why I installed a slim 92mm nocturnal fan at the bottom as exhaust to pull some hot air out of the case. But those are just minor problems that can easily be ignored. But the biggest problem is this one. It seems the case production is done permanently, which is very unfortunate. I don't know the reason of this. Could be the outbreak or he just lost interest because based on my serial number, there were hundreds of people buying this case. However, if you are interested in a similar alternative case, you can check this case on Taobao via Superbuy and I will have a link in the description. The build is done, but there is still one extra accessory for the case. This thing is called a toe loft. We know in the Ghost S1, they call it a top hat. This would be used to add dual 92mm radiators or a single 120mm radiator. I will use this to install a 120mm AIO to cool my CPU because the temperature was pretty hot with a mild overclocking. I will also fill out this extra hard drive slot which requires me to create two SATA power cables, one for the hard drive and the other for the Corsair H60-120mm water cooler. And that wraps up this video. If you would like to see part 2 of the case, consider subscribing to my channel. You can also check out my last video about the custom cables if you are interested in buying some. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.